Stormwater runoff is one of the leading causes of water pollution. When it rains heavily, water flowing across impervious surfaces like roofs, roads, and parking lots can pick up all sorts of surface pollutants that eventually get washed into the nearest stream. As we'll see, it's especially a problem in the community of Berkeley Springs, where a local watershed group is working on an innovative solution. The DEP's Terry Fletcher has these details. On a steep hillside in a cemetery in Berkeley Springs, volunteers and city crews are working on a solution to a massive drainage problem. They're using a technique called Hugelkultur. It's a German word first coined back in the 1960s to describe a farming practice that dates back centuries. So Hugelkulturs are basically a compost unit. Sometimes they're dug into the ground, most of them are above ground. It's mounded up organic matter is what they are. And these have been used to grow food for a very long time. They've recently become popularized again uh, for the same purposes because they're so effective. Now, this particular unit we are doing up here, these three units, are modified for erosion control. That is, we've dug into the hill and we want to make sure that they drain water out. The road, which is on a very steep grade, was already very hard to get up and down because of the washout from years worth of erosion from heavy rains. This used to be an asphalt road, and you could find asphalt now in maybe two or three places. So uh, the ruts were like that. It was, it was impassable. The Warm Springs Watershed Association consulted with a stormwater specialist with the DEP to come up with an affordable solution to keep the lower portion of the road from completely washing out. The answer, Hugel culture. We are building three hugels uh, designed to divert water into a ditch. Eventually the ditch will convey the stormwater runoff um, to a rain garden at the bottom of the hill. Uh, the water that is not diverted into the ditch will be slowed, absorbed, and filtered by the materials in the hugel culture. Um, what does go through will then go to the next hugel culture, so that will greatly reduce the amount of stormwater further down the hill. Okay. Uh, the water will also, over time, break up the woody and the organic material in the trenches, turn it into uh, nutrient-rich soil. City crews use a backhoe to dig three shallow trenches across the roads, and then volunteers begin filling them with layers of dead tree limbs, straw, and compost. Eventually, woody stem plants are going to be planted in there, probably hazelnut trees or bushes. And so in the purpose here, we are preventing soil from running away. We're holding that and regreening the cemetery. Reducing soil erosion is especially important in a community like Berkeley Springs, located in a valley where Warm Springs Run flows through the middle of town. When sediment fills streams, storm water has nowhere else to go, making flooding problems become worse. This watershed, when we did our um, stream assessment in 2009, it was determined that we were 17% impervious surface. That's considered to be an urban watershed. It's very high even for like a city like Charleston. Um, we did an eye tree inventory of the watershed. Two years ago, we were up to 19% because we're beginning to see more and more development along the banks of the run. What's really shocking is this 19% impervious surface is in a four mile area. Once you get past Jimstown Road, uh, it's a perforated forest owned by U.S. Silica. So a four mile area is 19% impervious surface and growing in terms of impervious surface. The Watershed Association recently identified nearly 40 locations within that four mile area that could benefit from green stormwater management projects like the Greenway Cemetery Hugel Culture. They hope to work with the local conservation district to use some small watershed grant monies to determine how much stormwater would potentially be captured, slowed, and filtered by those projects and what impact would it have downstream. But the biggest benefit of this project with the funny sounding German name is the buzz it's generating. I'm really excited about this project. I'm excited about the amount of community interest and support it's generated. And I'm very excited that thanks to the work that Streetscapes and we have been doing, the school board, um, the Morgan, our local paper, uh, people in the community are becoming interested in what they can do on their property to also try and 
do green stormwater management. Okay. So I, if, if more people in the community were to use these practices, I think the impact, the potential impact would be huge. I mean, streams flood, that's what streams are, de are designed to do, but we can reduce the severity of flooding. Kate says she even plans to use the idea to help with her own stormwater runoff problem by installing a hoogle at the top of her own steep gravel driveway. In Morgan County, I'm Terry Fletcher for Environment Matters. The project was funded through a Stream Partners grant. Stream Partners is a joint program of the DEP, the West Virginia Conservation Agency, the State Division of Forestry, and the Department of Natural Resources. It's housed within the DEP's Division of Water and Waste Management and provides grants to support the efforts of local watershed groups to help improve the quality of life in and around their stream or watershed. For more information on the program and to find out more about green stormwater projects like rain gardens that, can incorporate, that you can incorporate into your landscape, visit our website, dep.wv.gov.